Greetings all, Fanny here for Libra's Daily Oracle Message. Oh, you're going flying. Libra, your first message is the temple. I no longer search outside of myself for home. I love that we have the two pillars here because it reminds me of the High Priestess card in Tarot. Is it High Priestess or Hierophant that has the two pillars beside it? I think it's the High Priestess that has the, the two pillars. And that goes along with Libra's balance, equality, having the stability. You also have the Ancient Grandmother Teacher. I am a teacher that leads with self-knowledge. Look at how wise and powerful she is. You also have Athuisa, Sun Goddess, Liftoff. I open my senses to feel delicious pleasure, pleasure and passion. You're finally coming back to a sense of the magic and love that you have always been worthy of and have always had access to. Cosmos, Ascend, I connect to oneness and expand my awareness. And the little star, Divine, my inner child is whole and complete. You have done an incredible job of healing yourself, Libra. I am so proud. And you will be able to teach people how to heal themselves with the ancient grandmother here. You are a nurturer. You are compassionate. And I absolutely love this energy for you. I, like, I myself love Libran energy because I am a stubborn ass sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Triple Earth. I need that balance in my life. So when I find Libras, they are like become some of my best friends. My mom is a Libra rising. All right, so for the dice, we have the number five. We have the Leo, which is the fifth zodiac sign. So that's interesting. And I believe, what is this planetary body? Come back here. Oh, this one's Pluto. Okay, so Pluto's coming out for you. Something people have overlooked, discredited, and made want to seem is non-existent. Is this how you felt, Libra? If you have, you're not you're not lowering yourself anymore. You're not sheltering yourself like that anymore. You are stepping out into a bright, beautiful, burning passion of attention and awareness and connection. That is incredible. Okay, so the first one that I want to point out to you here, Libra, is Stand Tall. I absolutely love this. I just heard Atlas Falls come into my head from Shine Down. Keep moving forward now. Keep your head above the grounds. I'm right with you. I will lift you. Just hold on. And I feel like that that's what your spirit team is wanting to tell you, is that this bear that you have been fighting this battle, you are winning. I want you to note that it has a broken ear, and that is may, may just be because it's sitting in this bag, clinging around things all the time. But a, a worn, a war-torn bear has been hurting you in your life, and you are overcoming that. You're coming into a time of your dreams. You're coming into a time of your family. With the little peanut here, you might be planting seeds of something. Maybe you're allergic to peanuts, and this is a, a sign of caution for you. It's all up to how your intuition takes it. But you're graduating and moving on from something that no longer serves you. Hang on, I want to I wanna wear the hat. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a dork. You're coming into a picture-perfect reality that you have only dreamed of before. Ruby star, flow. I embody my authentic and sensual essence. I love when that comes out with the Athusa sun goddess because this is some fiery root sacral chakra energy. Because like even the colors with the red and the orange, that is root and sacral right there. This is the basis of your energy portals, of your energy flow. And this is so strong. You have the enchanter, dream. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true beautiful. And what is this? This one's to Yep. Mirror. Reflect. I hold the mirror up and accept love and love all of me. Pardon me. Libra, you are doing an incredible job because what you are 
going through and what you have healed yourself from is not only just incredible for you, but the effects that you will have on other people's lives. You may come into a, a lifetime of being a spiritualist, a psychic, a medium, a healer, teacher, moderator, uh, TED Talks, just speaking, using your voice, exercising your throat chakra, no longer dimming your light or shutting down your shine because you are meant to be beautiful. You are meant to glow. You have finally come home to yourself. And I am incredibly proud of you for taking the time to heal her. Because look at who she's becoming. Look at who she will grow into once you heal your inner child. She grows into someone whose potential is endless. An enchanter, a magician, a master of their craft and destiny. Someone who is aware of their power. I am incredibly proud of you, Libra. If no one has told you that today, I am proud of you. And I love you. Because you are incredible. You are a gift and a blessing to the universe, to the earth in our time. We need you here, Libra, because you have a purpose for something greater than anything you've given yourself credit for. So whatever it is you have taught yourself, whatever it is you have gone through, write it down. Create books, art, videos. Share your story because people need to hear it. People need to know that they can heal themselves from a point where other people have not been able to because they do not have the support. They do not have the connection. My love, I am here to tell you, you are divinely connected, protected, and guided. Contact your ancestors, angels, guardians, guides, whoever you feel drawn to because they are here to help you and they want to see you shine. Have a beautiful day, my love.